Hey, how's it going, YouTubers? Uh, Rifleman399 here. I'm going to shoot a video for uh, Creation Kit Basics for um, Skyrim Special Edition. I've shot some videos for Fallout 4 uh, and other goodies. Uh, I figured yeah, I'm way late, but hey, I might as well shoot some videos. <laughs> so go to Bethesda.com, download the launcher, uh, click the silver one here, hit install. Uh, when you hit install, make sure you're installing it to... Uh, the folder that has Skyrim in it. Let me show you here. So C drive 86 Steam Steam apps common Skyrim special edition this one. So this is the file path Make sure it gets installed here creation kit get just install it to the folder that has Skyrim .exe. Um, If you don't it, the creation kit just won't work. You'll get errors that say I don't know like spooling I don't know. I can't remember what the errors are it, but it just won't launch uh, when you do install it correctly uh, and you hit play, it'll talk about needing to unzip uh, scripts. Just go ahead and say yes, and it'll take a little bit. You'll get into it. Bam. Um, yeah, my old handle used to be Nuka Mage. I've made uh, various stuff on Fallout 4 and on uh, Steam, but uh, Steam is now Rifleman399, so is my YouTube channel. Anyway, so once you get the creation kit running, um, you want to hit File, Data. You'll always want to click Skyrim and update .esm, .esms, uh, and then hit OK. Uh, it'll depending on your computer, it'll take some time. It'll get give you errors. You know, just just hit yes to all and clear and all that, and you'll get to here. It'll look a little different. You know, everything will be all scrunched up. Um, this is this is the layout that I kind of prefer. Uh, and I'll go through all these windows in a minute. Uh, if you're gonna make a mod that that oh yeah there you go. If you're gonna make a mod that affects or uses elements from the DLCs, you're gonna to want to click these two. But remember, when you up upload these mods, people need these DLCs in order to use your mod. So I, I generally keep it to the base unless you know I really need something. Um, the first window you're gonna see here is the object window. I kind of refer to this as the library. Pretty much everything that is in the game, items and whatnot. And spells and just just ever the codex of the game is right here as the object window. Uh, the cell view window is basically all locations. So this is like your Google Maps. This is uh, uh, this is your files basically. Um, be very careful to things you change directly in here because it'll make uh, it'll make big changes in the game. Uh, see, I you see count one here. These are basically actors. These are all NPCs in the game. And there's only, generally, there's only one, if none, uh, in the game. See this one? This is like a common uh, NPC, enemy NPC that just is out in the game in areas. And there's five of them. So that's, that's kind of how that works. Um, what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you real quick... messing with an NPC. Uh, you kind of want to duplicate stuff. It makes it easier. Um, I don't even know what this is. Who, who, who is Avalon? See, you're going to get lots of errors. Just just deal with it. Uh, oh, that takes a long time. Eh, it's just, a, just an NPC. I don't know. I don't remember this game that much, so I don't know where she's found level 4. Anyway, so as far as MP NPCs go, um, I'll, I'll probably make a video specifically about NPCs, but for right now, these are just basics. So, yeah, this little asterisk right here means you made a change somewhere. So when you're, you know, messing around with things, that'll be, you, you'll see those asterisks. And then you want to save. Also, all mods go to data here, and it, they're .esp files. So we're just going to do test, and it'll save as a dot esp file so when you go to here you go to data Ooh. when you go to data here you'll see test so that's your mod right there that is your mod that you've created and then just you know work from there uh you got your actors uh these are uh perks actual perks in the game i'll go into that in a second audio generally don't mess with those too much uh characters is more about them so we got like factions equipment slots you can kind of just mess around with any, almost anything you want just 
you know, always remember to say <laughs> when you're, when you're working with mods in game, like playing mods, uh, always make duplicates of your saves because mods can destroy your save games, and then you've destroyed your playthrough. So always bear that in mind. Uh, relationships, blah blah blah. This is all very in the, the character screen is all in depth for uh, NPCs and your uh, and player. So we got items. We got ammo, armor, books, weapons, fun, good fun stuff. Uh, you can make your own a legendary weapon if you want out of an ebony bow. You know, name it something else. Put some enchantments on it. I'll make videos on how to make your own enchantments. As, you know, I mean, it's been years since I played this game. I have over a thousand hours of Skyrim plus, well, Skyrim and Creation Kit combined, I have over a thousand hours. So, Special Edition, when it came around, I, I've already checked out. I was doing Fallout 4 videos and Fallout 4 um, modding. But, as I remember more, uh, I'll, I'll start making more videos here. Um, but, Jet, you got your weapons, you got your magic. Magic, I'll do another video on magic because it's in depth too. There's a difference between spells and magic effects. Uh, miscellaneous, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah. So, generally, this is everything that's in the game as information is is in the object window. Uh, now, let's go to cell view. Cell view is, like I said, all locations. So, if it's inside, like a dungeon or a home or whatever, it's in interiors. Uh, like here, I could just type river. Riverwood, uh, sleeping giant in. There we go. Let's pop on in there. Yeah, yes to all. You're going to get errors all the time. Don't worry about it. Yes to all. Clear. I hate this warning. Ugh, they never fixed it. But anyway, so there you go. So that's um, that's the inside of the Sleeping Giant Inn. Oop, 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 what did I do? There we go. Uh, key commands are if you hold shift, you'll rotate. Right now, I'm rotating the camera. If you select an object and hold shift, it'll rotate around that object. You can see the, uh, oh, come on, what's going on here? Yeah, you see these these colored lines? That's what's selected. See, if I, if you pick something smaller, those lines get very much smaller. There we go. So you rotate around it. If you hold space bar, you move the camera up and down. Uh, it's basically shift and space bar. Those are, those are your friends. Uh, if you hit M, those markers go away. Hit them again, they come back. Markers are um, cues, basically. Um, tell an NPC to go here, to sit here, to do this. Yeah, those, those are all markers. Uh, also, uh, location markers to say, you know, for teleporting and just so the game knows what that location is, that's, that's that. Uh, anything outside, in the outside world that you know of as or you know <laughs> that is Skyrim to you, is Tamriel. Everything's Tamriel. Uh, however, it's so in-depth out there, because, I mean, it's an open world. Most of everything's going to be wilderness here. So, good luck. Good luck. Um, I mean, we can still go to to Riverwood. See, Riverwood 01. It'll take a, a little bit, depending on the power of your computer. Depends on how long it takes to render this kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, see, there you go. See, now water's moving. That's taking, taking up, um, uh, CPU power. So you can turn, see, so you can, you can add artificial light. This is what light looks like with the sun or the moon. And this is like you turning on a light bulb so you can see when you're modding. Uh, you can see all the shadows go away. Uh, you can turn, uh, run havoc, which is basically like physics. Um, you can toggle the sky. See, so yeah, yeah, see. All right, uh, what I'm trying to do is turn the water off, but whatever, it's probably not a big deal right now. But anyway, that, yeah, see, there's Riverwood. Now, look at all those markers. Those are all dragon markers, so if a dragon were to attack Riverwood, it's going to use these markers to know where to land and all that kind of stuff. Uh, just neat things. Again, you can hit M, let them go. Uh, so this is how you've seen mods where somebody adds a house right here, or it, it, some in a lot of my mods, I've added tons of trees. I'm probably going to try to bring that mod back. Um, I really like that it was uh, like Hippie Pro or Project Hippie. I thought that was a hilarious name. Um, so anyway, that's how you move around in the game. Uh, see if I were to uh, the f oh, yeah. See so the problem is when you click on things in the game. Oh, there we go. Okay. 
So now I'm trying to find out where in the editor. Somewhere here, I've moved this tree. So it's going to know that I've moved the tree. It's going to put that little asterisk next to it, probably. Actually, no, not probably not in movement. But that'll that'll come in the mod. Like the mod will know, here, I can put the tree right in the middle of the house. And bam. So when you come in here, there's a tree in the middle of the house. That's your mod. <laughs> so that's, that's cell view. Pretty straightforward for the most part. Um, I, I guess I kind of skipped over here. Here's the editor ID. This is everything you're going to find in that cell. So let's go back to... Let's go back to interiors and let's go back to Riverwood Sleeping Giant Inn, which is right here. That's that in. Uh, close that. So, yeah, the editor idea ID is everything that's in this location. So, real quick while we talk about uh, actors, um, we'll drop that down. Actor, I think that's what's her name? I forgot her name. Delphina. Or Delphine, whatever. We can find her. Did I spell that wrong? I must have. Oh, no. Click there. There we go. So, what you can do is you can actually add multiple Delphines in the game. So now there's two that exist in the game. Now there's three that exist in the game. See? But, now these aren't the same NPC. These are three somewhat unique uh, versions in the game. But if I make any change here, if, if, yeah, hold on, let me explain that. If I make a change here in the library, all three of those will change. And I'll show you by going to, is it Gen Parts? Yes, Gen Parts. Uh, instead of golden brown hair, let's give her, let's give her black hair. I think that's going to work. Hit OK. Yep, see, now all three have black hair, right? If I double click on her, Edit base is basically edit library, but if I do things in here, I'm really only changing her. This specific instance. Now it doesn't really make much sense when you're when you're working with uh, NPCs, but when you start working with um, tables and chairs and and treasure chests, that makes a huge difference. Treasure chests are a huge difference. So like you can have. Uh, here, here's two good examples here. This is this wine barrel here, which is mead barrel 01. And here's another mead barrel, which is also mead barrel 01. They are the same from the library's point of view, but they can be changed individually. So I can uh, do links, extras, like locks, basically. Let me see if I can find locks. That's a good example. Uh, I don't know what that is. Okay, I kind of forget where it is. 3D data, extra. You know what? I used to know where all this stuff is, but it's been so long. I'll remember as I do, because I'll, I'll make a video on treasure chests and stuff. That'll be important. Yeah, nav mesh, location data. So yeah, the, that's how you, you edit an individual. Edit base is how you edit all of them. So actually, I can do... If I hit edit base, I can do crap barrel. Hit OK. Now here's going to go. The old is 01. New is crap barrel. Did you change? You have changed the form's editor ID. Create a new form? Normally you would hit yes. So you don't affect every single mead barrel 01 in the game to make a new form. It's like a duplicate. I'm going to hit no. Are you sure? Because now there's 913 mead barrels in the game that I'll, that their ID will now be Crap Barrel. Pretty sad. So I can double click, see it, Crap Barrel. Hit edit. And you can, you can, you know, change other things in here. Make it, basically make it to where you can't get in. Although I, I'm, I'm really irritated why. You know, it probably doesn't have a lock on it, probably because it may not even be a container. Well, actually, I don't think it is. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, it's a static. No, see, it's a static object. So that's why I can't find the lock because it doesn't have a lock. If I if I get to a door, all doors have that ability on them. Uh, no, that's dust. See how it says beam dust? That's I click something that's behind the camera. Double click the door. No, see, I'm doing it again. It's very difficult. Some when you get inside. Yep. 
that's actually a special effects that I'm clicking on. And I'm just having the worst time I'm trying to click a door. There we go. Delphine room door. Uh, da, 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 da. Lock. There it is. Lock. So lock. I can lock the door. Requires a master key. Lock picking skill, or actually requires a key. Period. Which you'll make a key. You can make a key in here in items. Blah blah blah. So, but I'll get into that more. Of that I'm kind of rambling here. That's that's more or less the basics. Um, one more thing. If you go to character actor values, this is how you actually change uh, perk trees. I'll get into more of that in another video. Because modding is huge. So alchemy perk tree could not get the flow chart. Blah blah blah. And I crashed my game. Well, generally that works. So I guess this is where I'm going to stop the video because my game's going to crash. But anyway, uh, I'll get into it later about how to uh, uh, change perks and do all that kind of stuff. This is just the basics. So run down. That's the library. That's your maps. Um, these are like snap items. So when you're rotating objects, It'll either snap to a grid or rotate at a certain degree. Um, and these are all extras, too, that are very... These these are more advanced. We won't deal with that right now. Anyway, that's, that's the basics of the creation kit. Um, tune in for more videos later. I hope you like it. Let's crash my game. <laughs> and uh, play it again. And that's it. So, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Take care.